Willie Ridenauer. A lot of my friends call me Willie Ridenauer, so I'm calling Will. I'm from Albemarle, North Carolina. I've uh, been military, so moved around a lot, but North Carolina is my is my home. So I've been racing legend cars for about five years, give or take a little bit. Been racing for 25, 27 years-ish. Started racing go-karts when I was about seven years old. Um, in the military obviously interfered with that for a while but yeah I've been racing legend cars for about five years started off in asphalt, on asphalt in Washington State and then when we moved back to North Carolina in 2016 I uh, started racing dirt last year as far as for finances for racing, I mean that's, I guess that's a, a lot of variables. Uh, you know, for legend cars, you know, you, it, the initial buy-in can be really expensive when you get into any sport. You know, uh, you know, you need. Quite, you know, probably ten thousand dollars you'd be looking at to get into a legend car and buy the required safety apparel and the, some of the minimum uh, stuff to keep a car going, you know. But you know, I'm sure there's guys that spend way more than that. Um, but usually, your sustainment costs. I mean, you could probably get away with a two to three thousand dollar budget a year. Um, Sponsors really help. Sponsors of you know local businesses, they don't know how much it means to a racer. If it's a hundred bucks or two hundred bucks, or hey, I'll pay your entry fee for the races or whatever, paying gate fees, you know, just the little stuff. That stuff is huge because the couple hundred bucks I have tied into getting in a track or whatever can now be buy a set of tires or buy a tire or or maintain the car, you know. So the finances is. Uh, it is definitely a determining factor for many teams on how competitive they can be. A lot of drivers have more potential to be better than what they are. They just don't have the backing that it takes um, to, to get to that level. And that's, that's where we've been very blessed this year. Uh, the 316 Motorsports team has been very blessed for uh, people trusting me. To, I do work for other guys. I do a little bit of part sales and stuff. So uh, a lot of guys trust me, and it's not... Um, not take it for granted for sure. I'm from John 316. Um, that's that's where it all drive from, you know, for God talking about how much he just loves us, he loves this world and he gave his son for for us to be saved, you know, just call upon his name for salvation is, is and that's uh, where that comes from. Just uh, oh, absolutely for for Jesus Christ dying on that cross for us. Yeah, you know, I always had John 3.16 on the car from day one. It always had John 3.16 on it. And I also had Psalms 3, uh, verses 5 and 6 at one point in time. Um, but John 3.16 was always a theme. And I think at the end of 2014 or the end of 2015, we just decided to call it 3.16 Motorsports and just kind of stuck. And that's what we've stuck with. Um, and now I guess that's our branded name, uh, so to say. Uh, originally, the purpose behind it was to be a uh, ministry. You know, I mean, it is still a ministry to me, and I still, you know, can ask many people at the track and other drivers anytime I have an opportunity to talk about Christ with them or their salvation, I do. But, uh, and that's why I say the fun part versus the competitive part. You know, you're there competitive, but in the back of my mind is always the ministry side of it and uh, sometimes the competitive edge takes over rather than the ministry edge so but i think most drivers know that if they ever needed something or a prayer or, or anything that i'd be over there for them so so my family uh, i asked them earlier this question and my son said that it was uh, fantastic and he thinks it's fantastic my daughter said that it was inconvenient because uh, it is time consuming for the family as well and uh, you know they make a big sacrifice and I, I my, last weekend my wife was there she had a thing and I called her like you know I really appreciate when you come to the track with me because all these things that at the end of the night cleaning it up you know that can be a task sometimes and just the little things it's nice to uh, and nice to have my family there and to for them to be there supporting uh, my wife's intro was it was time consuming which it is you know I spend a lot of time in the garage 
in the evenings and until midnight sometimes, one o'clock in the morning. I mean, it is definitely, definitely burdensome on the family aspect. Uh, we have our family night though, usually, and there's definitely, I only have my certain nights of the week that I can go out there and play with my toys. <laughs> <laughs>